Well, I think when we're talking about trends and trying to predict trends in the MENA region, we must recall, we must remind ourselves that no one predicted the Arab Spring at the outset. Uh, so trying to look backwards 15 years in order to make some kind of assessment of what's going to happen within the next 15 years is of course extremely difficult. Uh, I think one of the most important things about the Arab Spring is not necessarily that it has led to more democracy at, at large in the region. There are of course some outstanding exceptions such as Tunisia. Uh, but there has also been a lot of setbacks. I think the most important thing about uh, the Arab Spring is that it's changed the dynamics uh, within the region. Uh, if you, uh, if I uh, might use a metaphor, uh, it's like the cork came out of the bottle. And it's this uh, precious liquor inside the bottle, if we think that that is democracy, it grows. Uh, we might even have spilled some from the bottle. But then, as, as it goes, uh, the, the, the liquor lowered and it's back basically as it, where it were. Uh, but the cork is out of the bottle and, and that makes a lot of difference. We know that from other parts of the world and from other uh, parts of history that what happens in one country has large effects, particularly on neighboring countries, but also it could have within an entire region, to the extent we can talk about MENA as one region, which is of course uh, problematic in itself. Um, so I think the success of democracy in Tunisia within the next, say, five, ten years will be extremely important for what uh, goes on in the, the other parts of the region. But that goes also in the other uh, way. Uh, the, the failure, if you like, of democracy in Egypt can have large impacts on other parts of the, the region. And uh, we are also seeing uh, developments that are worrisome uh, in Libya, for example. So it's, right now, it's really hanging in the balance. Will the success cases will be the one that spread, or will the, the failure from the perspective of democracy cases uh, be the ones that spread? We really don't know yet. Um, I think I would start with uh, not being so sure there is a decline. Uh, I think we've reached uh, like a plateau. Uh, so uh, democracy has been climbing and climbing and climbing and now it's not going up anymore. But I wouldn't be so sure it's actually going down. And to the extent it is, I think it's uh, at a very, very, very small scale. Um, so uh, I think that we should first look much more deeply into those uh, analyses that say that democracy is in decline uh, before we uh, try to uh, answer the question why that is the case, because I'm not sure it is the case.